All right. Hi, Olas. Nice to see that you have more essays for us. Uh, great. So let's take a look and see what you did here, okay? Um, let's see. This is one about translation apps. So here's what you wrote. The use of online translation apps has grown notoriously in the past few years. Although this category of applications brings some learning issues, it must not be forgotten that people take advantages from it. This test will analyze both situations using examples from the University of Toronto and Google Analytics to demonstrate point and prove arguments. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of things here. So the prompt is actually very clear and it's telling you very, very clearly what it wants you to answer. It wants to know which, um, which are stronger, the benefits or the disadvantages. And so you absolutely must address this and answer this in your introduction, okay? Um, it's not a good idea just to say that you're gonna analyze both points because um, while you're going to have to analyze them, that's not what they've asked you. They've asked you a very specific question. So do address that in your introduction. Um, answer the question. Um, and there are a lot of different ways to do that. You, um, let's see, what you said here, although this kind of, uh, it must not be forgotten that people take advantages of it. In my opinion, uh, the advantages are greater than the weaknesses. This essay will provide proof and examples to support my argument. Okay, something like that. So let's move on. On the one hand, the features offered by apps like Google Translate facilitate people's lives. For example, all right, full stop here. Don't just make this a run on. Full stop, new sentence. For example, when they need to quick check, mm, quickly check the grammar while writing. Oh, I see what you did here. Okay, because this is just a fragment. This is not uh, a full sentence. Um, I think you could have done this a little, uh, a little more grammatically accurately. Um, let's see. On the one hand, features offered by apps like Google Translate facilitate people's lives, for example, when they need to quickly check uh, the grammar while writing essays and emails in a language they are not proficient in. Okay, let me just look at this for a second. Um, they facilitate people's lives like here. Okay, so tell me a little bit more about that. What can something like Google Translate actually do? So just go a step further and explain to us how a translation app would, would help with this, okay? Uh, and it's really just as simple as saying, you know, just put the text in your native language and it comes out grammatically correct in your target language. So furthermore, they provide people with additional independence when they travel to a different country. According to a Google Analytics report from 2018, 84% of Google Translate users that traveled abroad from Canada in the first six months of 2018, you don't need a comma here, use the app during the trip. Therefore, it is clear that these tools deliver more advantages than disadvantages to people. Okay. Well, we don't know that yet. You haven't told us because you haven't told us the disadvantages yet. So you could just say that it is clear that these tools deliver many advantages to people. That makes sense. On the other hand, it is undeniable that these technologies make the process of learning a new language slower. This is because translating a word directly, L-Y here, to the mother language, mother tongue or native language, uh, does not let the person assimilate the real meaning of the word, only the literal translation. That's a good point. Studies from the University of Toronto say, this should be no S here, that if a person needs to translate a word from English, it is, it, is, it, don't forget your it here, it is extremely important to research the explanation, get rid of about, research the explanation of the word instead of simply translating, I-N-G, because it comes after a preposition, translating it directly. Thus, it is possible to state that translation apps are not always good for people. From the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that the benefits of online translation technologies definitely outweigh the disadvantages. In the modern world, they are clearly excellent accessibility tools. Okay, um, so let's talk about a couple of things here. Uh, this was good. I liked it. Um, so this was the side that you were in favor of. Personally, I would have liked to have seen it come second. Um, a lot of IELTS tutors will tell you that you should talk about the side that you don't support first and then talk about the side that you do support. If you had done that, 
this sentence then would have made absolute sense because you would have already told us what the disadvantages were and then you would have analyzed the advantages, <laughs> excuse me, and then it would have made sense to say, therefore, it's clear that these outweigh these. Okay, so um, it's one idea that I want you to keep in mind, which is supported, like I said, by a lot of people, that um, first you talk about side that you don't support and it shows that, you know, you've analyzed all sides, you have an open mind, you've thought about it very maturely. However, despite whatever advantages or, or uh, validity the other side has, on the whole, you think that your side is stronger and more correct. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, let's take a look at your job cover letter. Dear hiring manager, you want to capitalize that because it's a title. So capital H, capital M. I'm writing to you because I have seen that you are hiring a software engineer. I attached a copy of my resume to this email. All right, I am not a huge fan of this language. It's really very basic. It doesn't feel formal. And so I want to see a little higher level here. Okay, so a better introduction here would be I am writing regarding the software engineer position um, in your company posted on xyz.com website. I have attached a copy of my resume to this email. Okay, that's a better way of saying this. I am a software engineer with eight years of experience in software development, uh, five of which I worked specifically on the Android platform. Uh, let me see if that's right too. Let me try that again. I don't think that's right grammatically. Let me try it again. I am a software engineer with eight years of experience in software development. Uh, ah, five of which were spent working specifically on the Android platform. That would be a great way to say this. It's a little advanced grammatically, but I'm confident that you can pull it off. Um, okay, and this too also doesn't feel very formal as it says in the job details. So uh, why don't we change it, make it a little more formal and say something like, um, as expressed in the job details, uh, you are looking for a professional um, who apart from building the applications back end is also capable of doing the user interface. All right, again, I changed, you can see I changed this besides, which is really informal, but I also want to change this doing the user interface. Can you find another word, another verb, instead of doing, uh, building the user interface? I'm not really sure what the, the appropriate terminology is um, in software development jargon, but um, rather than doing it, maybe building would be, or creating, I'm not really sure, okay? But a, a, a better, kind of more formal, more accurate word here. Uh, and then you don't want to write a contraction in my L, especially in a formal letter. It's just too informal. This is okay for informal letters, but not for a formal letter like this. So um, let's try it one more time, shall we? So as uh, expressed in the job details, um, your organization is looking for a professional who, apart from building the applications back end, is also capable of building the user interface or creating the user interface. Um, my skills and background make me perfectly suited for this position. Okay, and that's a nicer way of saying this. In my last job, where I have worked for the last few years, I had the chance to build the main company's app from scratch. Um, okay, uh, working from, or you could just say from the most basic prototype until the very end solution. So getting rid of doing since and just saying from the most basic prototype. I'm extremely excited about the opportunity of being an integrant in your team. Is that a word? I'm not really sure. It would be an honor to work for a company that uses its power to change not only the world, but also the employees. You need an apostrophe after that. S, lives, yours faithfully. All right, let's see. So, check it out. Um, possible qualifications. Okay, well, you told me that you're a software engineer, so that's good. Um, you didn't talk to me about your degree, and so when I think about qualifications, I also want to know your kind of formal 
background, what makes you qualified to be a software engineer. So talk to us a little bit about your education. Then you gave us information about your past experience. That was fine. What was missing for me was a little bit more of this energy and enthusiasm. Yeah, you said that you're extremely excited and that it would be an honor. I think you could have said more. I um, Let's see. Um, there are a lot of different ways that you can use to show energy and enthusiasm. One way is to say that, uh, for example, maybe you know that this company uses a particular kind of um, programming language that perhaps you didn't know, but since you knew that they used it, you you know got certified in it, or you took I don't know some sort of seminar in learning how to use it uh, because you were so interested in this position. Now that's something that shows energy and enthusiasm. Okay, so those are the kinds of things I would like to see here. But not only that, obviously, um, you know, maybe you know that the company, maybe you've been reading the news and you know that the company is involved in uh, ABC, whatever. So just, you know, talk about that and saying that it's so interesting that you too have been, you know, just uh, very enthusiastic about getting, being part of whatever that is. Okay, so those are some ways that you can show energy and enthusiasm. Basically showing that you've done your research, that you're interested in the company and you think that you're a good fit for them. That's, that's really what is meant by this, okay? All right, so uh, nice job. You've gotten some good uh, things happening here, uh, but there are some things that I want you to work on. So go ahead and correct these, and let's see another set of essays from you, okay? I'll be waiting for them, so good luck.